Well, after all the housework I've had to do, I'm even more stressed than I was the last time I tried doing this. So we'll see how it goes. I'm Glasses Geek, and congratulations, you found me! Um, I'm going to be reading from my computer screen down here, which I'm going to be using as my little teleprompter. So if I keep on looking down, that's why. Um, so just kind of ignore that, and I'm sorry about that. So, But I write out these big elaborate scripts, and I just... <laughs> I don't have the ability or the time to actually sit down and memorize them, so there you go. So welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm a very big nerd and I love to research anything and everything. And this channel is where I geek out about everything that I'm interested in. So today I'm going to give my take on something that I've been researching as of late and been really interested in it as of late, and that's Wicca. And in about a year or two, I'm going to come back to this video and see how much I've changed and see how much I've grown and see how much I've learned and maybe even see how much my hair has grown <laughs> if I if I let it grow out, that is. So this is August 30th that I'm recording this. So I guess by August 30th of next year or maybe September 1st, 1st who knows, either way, we'll go ahead and see what I've learned, what I've experienced what I've, uh, how much I've grown, you know, in, in all this. So, yeah. So for this video, uh, I'm going to give a starting point basically for what I'm doing here, uh, where this whole thing is starting from. And that's literally to say what I think Wicca is. So now currently at this point in time, this is what I think Wicca is. Uh, I think that basically it's a way for people back in the day to recall the seasons and time of day and year. And I think that basically it was a way for farmers to know when to plant, when to harvest, and it helped them to learn and be knowledgeable in all things of the earth. I currently believe that Wicca helped those who were in charge of growing crops to learn to know and to pass down the knowledge of, say, soil, rocks, water, and what was needed to grow certain plants and what each life needed to be healthy and to thrive. Because if your plants didn't thrive, then you didn't. I also think that this was a way to learn the larger aspects of farming from the sun and the moon the weather and seasons, along with whatever else uh, may encompass keeping a farm alive and healthy. And also, I think this goes along with uh, keeping livestock alive and keeping them healthy and vibrant. Because if, if say, your cow that gave you milk wasn't healthy and alive, then that wouldn't be a good thing at all. And say your yard birds, uh, chickens, if your chickens weren't healthy and alive, uh, your chickens always gave you eggs, at least two or three every other day. So if your chickens weren't healthy and alive, then that wouldn't be a good thing. So I think this also taught people how to take care of their livestock and it helped them pass that down to from generation to generation. This is how you take care of chickens. This is how you take care of goats. This is how you take care of something even as large and as expensive as a cow or maybe a pig. And uh, I know that back in the day, most people, almost everyone had chickens. Uh, some people actually had pigs and every last house was basically a farm. And I think that this was how they taught their children how to take care of everything. So, so overall, I think that it was a very intricate, detailed education system, just like ag agriculture, farming, and livestock is today. It's just that people were having to do all of this without the aid of being able to even know how to read or write or 
count or actually calculate, at least not like we do today. So yes, maybe this is an old religion reimagined or reinvigorated. <laughs> reinvigorated? <laughs> it's like I have to say reinvigorated before I can say it properly. Reinvigorated uh, with new life breathed into it. But maybe it's a compilation of many things. I don't know. But for the next year, I'm going to learn uh, I'm going to learn everything there is to know about Wicca, or at least everything I can get my hands on. And what that means, uh, and, and I'm going to learn to be a Wiccan, and what that means, and what it entails. And I'm going to be studying everything I can, for free of course, since I'm broke, but I'm going to study everything I can get my hands on. And I'm going to be presenting all of that information to you, to anyone who watches this video. And the subsequent videos to come, of course. And when I get the chance, I'm going to be trying anything and everything there is to try. And I will also try to present that information to you, uh, as long as it's not too personal, of course. But overall, I hope that you and I can get some fun education out of all of this. And we can both learn what Wicca is and learn everything about it. So let's learn Wicca. <laughs> and after this year, I'll come back to this video and see if my ideas, beliefs, thoughts on Wicca that I have currently, uh, I'll see if they've changed at all or if they've become more in-depth and nuanced or and rather than change that much or or who knows you know there's there's so much to learn and currently i'm totally clueless uh, also i hope to do this with uh the religion of buddhism and i'm also going to be researching other taboo religions uh, that are seen as evil and not good yeah, I'm going to be researching all kinds of stuff. So, <laughs> so yeah, there's so much to learn and currently I'm entirely clueless and I hope to, and in the end, I hope that the idea of Wicca as a religion and a way of life and a farming thing or whatever it is will no longer be seen as something scary and satanic and evil, and instead it can be seen with new eyes and a new mind. Like how I'm starting to learn to see and starting to learn to learn about it now uh, with the little bit of research that I've already done. I'm, I'm finding out that it's not this terrible pile of evilness that you need to stay away from, so. Because I was, I was really raised in that. So, and so hopefully we can see this with new eyes and new ears and new mind and realize that Wicca was really very badly maligned and that it's just a different way of thought and living and religion that needs desperately to be dragged out of the darkness and respected and seen for what it really is, whatever that may be. And thank you, and well, let's get started. <laughs> let's learn about Wicca together. Let's glasses geek out about Wicca. <laughs> thank you, and bye. <laughs> I almost forgot. Uh, like, subscribe, and click the no little notification bell so you'll know when any new videos come up. Because... I'm going to be trying to get these things out at least once every week, but who knows? So, yeah. So, Nanu Nanu, live long and prosper. Uh, remember what Mr. Rogers said, it's you I like, it's every part of you. It's your personality, your soul, your core, your being, it's you. And also, remember that laughter and happiness saves lives. And... I hope that at least someone has gotten some laughter or happiness out of this makeup <laughs> and out of this whole outfit. Because if nothing else, at least I'm eye-catching. <laughs>
Bye. <laughs>